Hey. Hey. Are you already live? Mm-hmm. Hey, Ro. Welcome back, Sequoia. Okay, so, we're gonna go outside. It's not Dawn Power Wash. Hi, Emily. Oh my god, it's fucking cold. Who are you telling? I ain't got no sleeves on. Hi, Jeremiah. Okay. So, let me find my wash spray paint. I put all my spray paint away earlier, not remembering that I was gonna do the heirloom wine. Oh fuck. <laughs> was that just spraying? Yeah. Make it stop. Oh my god. You're making a miss. I am not. Okay, what color is this? It does oh that's right. <coughs> Are you being extra right now? Maybe. Hi Stephanie. Katie, like, all right, let's she? roll with some power wash. Madison's like throwing back to when you guys did lives on Heather's phone. <laughs> Madison, yes. I've, so, I flexed so hard my sleeves fell off. We're going to do this one. This is the Tacket Method um, with Captain Schmee from the live. And I did a full water slide wrap on this one. I didn't know what to do with it, so we just kind of did that. And then this is a multicolor base with alcohol inks, with neon alcohol inks. Um, and then I put an opal glitter over the top of it. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hold, hold this. Why? I gotta get, I gotta put a jacket on. I'm gonna die. He's being extra. Don't listen Let's to take him. Take your jacket off and stand She's outside. spray painting inside the drawer. I know. Did you see that? That was ridiculous. <sighs> it's ridiculous. He's getting a jacket because he's a big baby. Okay, you, you gotta take your jacket off now. I will spray you in the face. Take your jacket boy. off. I will spray you in the face, little boy. Okay. So, you were supposed to. Oh, I got to I got to open first. That looks pretty cool. So, you to take up your spray paint and then you spray paint over the top of it. Dunk it in the water. Taya. It looks like you know what you're doing. Isn't that amazing? Right? Wait, am I supposed to not know what I'm doing? I'm confused. No, I'm just saying, even if you didn't, <laughs> yeah, just right. literally just do it and it's like, oh my god, you did amazing. So you have to work fast because you want your spray paint to stay wet, but you also want your bubbles to stay there. Because as soon as your bubbles dissipate, then your spray paint's going to stick to your cup and all, everywhere. So we're going to do Madison this. says she loves how you call me a baby, but you walk out to me, it's freaking cold. <laughs> Shh, Madison, you're supposed to be on my team, okay? That's very true. You're spraying your other cup. I know. You're spraying that one. What are you talking about? You're spraying that one. What are you talking about? Just go. I'm dunking it in a wah The cup's got scabies. Just kidding. I think it looks pretty cool. It does look really cool. I think it's way cooler than like the Dawn dish soap method. Yeah, you can go inside now and we can look at both. I really like this one. This one looks so freaking cool. I want to make a big one of this one. This one's a 15 ounce. But I think that's like the prettiest freaking thing on it. Like, I think they turn out awesome. The Sequoia's have a great method for sea foam on beach cups. Person, and I really like that one. They're pretty. Isn't it? I didn't know what I was doing with this one. I just came up with the shit as I went along. 
agrees. Well, uh, Katie says, I agree. I love this method so much better than the dish soap ones. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Andrea, this explains everything as to why when I see your front porch, it's a different shade every time. Yeah. Yeah, my poor porch. Yeah, I really like these now. What soap was that? It's the Dawn Power Wash yeah. dish soap. It's, uh, it's like a foam spr spray. It comes... In the uh, spray bottle. Also, the new Milky Way. Ooh, that's true. That would be cool, too. So since you guys haven't been able to see this angle for a while, this is what the craft room looks like now. For any of those that followed us from other places to here, this is uh, what the craft room has evolved into. Yeah. Literally stuff everywhere. She got glitter for days. I think my dragon pooped. Kim, the soap is the Dawn Power Wash. Yes. I'm going to grab the bottle. Yeah, it's out here, right? Dawn Power Wash dish soap. This is it. Spray wipe rinse. From Walmart. They actually go over it to me. I can color some scales on my dragon if you think somebody would be interested in that. That's true. Plate glitter on him. So here's my dragon. Um. His eye is stuck on there. You're welcome, Katie. She said thank you for doing it. Of course. I love for anything. All the new stuff. I like all the new stuff to do. It's, it's fun, I think. So, I got these little makeup majiggers that comes with these chrome mica chameleon pigments. And I put the tacket glue all over my um, cup and all over my scales. And I put some paper scales underneath here to try and transition the texture of the eye to the cup. And I've been thinking about when I do my next layer of epoxy. I think I'm actually going to take bubble wrap and press it into the sticky epoxy um, to give it some dragon skin texture. But the way this is sticking so well is I did the tack it over and over on the scales. So it made it sticky for it to, um, so that the mica powders would stick to it. And you'll notice that he looks a different color in um, every angle light. And he is glued to my cup. Madison said, how do I get matte clear off my phone? Uh, 91% alcohol? Or acetone? Uh, I would say 91% acetone. Acetone's uh, not going to hurt it either. Though. Really? Mm -hmm. I would think it would. Mm -hmm. Okay. And always remember these chrome chameleon pigments. They work best on a black base. You won't be able to really see the color differences between on a um, on a white cup or a lighter colored cup. It's the black ones that they have to be on in order for it to change colors the way that it does. And then you can also get in the little crevices with some smaller paint brushes.
and on my oops my green dragon Emily said how many coats of epoxy is on that this one doesn't have any epoxy at all it doesn't have any epoxy at all um, I just glued the eye with the scales onto it um, yeah it doesn't have any epoxy yet Kirsten, hello. Guess I'm late. <laughs> the rubbing alcohol worked. Good. Uh, Summer said, hey, been, it's been a while, but I'm finally off of work lap long enough, early enough to catch a lap. Woo. Woo whoop. Stacy, it's okay. You can go back and watch the replay. But all she did was the, uh, the Dawn Power Wash dish soap, which is this stuff here. She sprayed it on there and then immediately sprayed spray paint and then immediately dunked it in the water. It gave this effect wherever they are. This one, these two, it gave this effect. So that way, that's the effect that you get. That's really cool. So I made like these spaces in between black and this red color. What do you think? Or should I just do it all this red color? What glitter is that? That's really pretty. Which one? The uh, if it's you talking about the orange one, or the brownish one that we was on the buffalo plaid? That's Doc. That's Captain Shmee. Yes. Good memory, Kim. Look at you. Woo. I think I want to like fan it out. And this other one here already has a already has a coat of epoxy on it. Yeah, it had a I epoxied it until smooth. Yes, yeah, so that has a that believe it or not, the base coat of this one is airbrushed on with alcohol inks and this little airbrush gun. Which Miss Lou is getting in. Which Miss Lou is getting in. So you, you, what you do is you put your alcohol ink on the top here. You spray it on for the color that you want. And then she put some chunky glitter on it. Epoxied until smooth. And then just did the power wash method. See, I'm kind of digging the black in between. Kind of makes him yeah. look. <laughs> I definitely think so. Makes him look rugged and rough. Lisa, I got mine just waiting for my creative side to kick in. <laughs> oh. Kim asked where you buy your tumblers. Um, I get all my tumblers from Miss Lou now. I was getting some from Stainless Depot. Stainless Steel Depot. But... Stacy, are those just micas that you're painting on with? Yes. These are just chrome pigment micas. Chameleon chrome micas. This one in particular I got from Radioactive Glitter. It's very expensive. Like, these micas are hella expensive. Like, this little jar I think was like eight or nine that's bucks. That's all that it comes in. Like, that's all you get. <laughs> Look, it looks like he has a tear. That's the glue ran Poor out guy. from under it. Why's he crying? I don't know. I think it looks pretty badass, though. Oh, yeah. I would definitely say so. Um, Fawn said just a little bit ago, she's like, that color's perfect. I know. I love he it. He looks amazing. You couldn't color. have picked a better color to match the theme. It looks like how fire changes color. Mm-hmm. I agree. Wait till you see the blue, Fawn. Wait till you see the blue. I got lots of tricks up my sleeve. Summer. Back in the 90s, that was called eyeshadows. Yes. dabbing in between to make him look rustic and old because dragons are rustic and old. Right? Yep. If I was a dragon I'd be rustic and old. Have scars and stuff. But yeah, it doesn't take 
much, but the stuff is expensive. And you have to do it on a black base. Give a tutorial on how to do the eye area. Yes, I did one in this group um, a couple, maybe a month or so ago, a week, couple weeks ago. I did the whole eye. This is actually the eye from the live that I did in this group of how I um, made the eye out of the baked clay. I think we have all the lives as announcements too, right? Yeah, I've tried to go through and um, mark them all as announcements. So they'll all be at the very top of our page. So that any any lives that you want to see should be at the top. You just click on the see all announcements and it should go from there. Fun just said she's excited. I love my dragons. They're one of my favorites to make. They are time consuming and um, they take a hell of a lot of time. Just I think I was live for an hour and a half as I was doing. You're welcome, Christina. Um, the scales around the eye. Now you don't have to do as many scales around the eye as I do. I just do them weird, I guess. I don't know. Summer says she's been missing us. We've missed you too. Yes. We're glad you're back. We're glad you're back. I've had it. I've had a lot of people find me this week. Um, that used to watch me in another group that I was doing lives in. And it warmed my heart that they re remembered me. So that made me feel good about myself a little. Fawn, are you going to name my two? Yes. Yes, I name all my dragons. Um, name it Carl and Ellie from Up. Oh, that'd be cute. <laughs> Kirsten, you have so much patience. I don't think I could sit that long on one tumbler, but it's beautiful. Yeah, it's definitely time consuming, but when you're done, you like look at it and you're so satisfied with how it looks and all the work that you put into it that it's just. You just stare at it. I really like my dragon tumblers. Um, I've got one that I've showed you guys that I've been working on before, and I think I'm going to add some claws to it. Madison, I followed y'all from somewhere else, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah, she did. I love Madison. She's such a sweetheart. She makes me feel so loved, along with Fawn and Andrea and Lisa. There's so many people that followed me from where I started doing lives. I think that looks pretty cool. Oh yeah. I'm just doing it in weird little patterns, just little lines. Christina, so when you get ready for epoxy, do you have to seal it ahead of time? Um, yes. You want to spray seal it very, very lightly. Um, if you do a heavy um, layer of spray paint on it, it will make your mica powder start moving around. It'll run with the wet liquid just as if you poured water over it. Um, but you want to mist it very lightly from far away so that it just makes the mica powders not move around. But yes, this is the same dragon that we were working on in the original live. And then I'll show you guys my green one and what I plan to do with it. That one's name is going to be Pascal. Tara, Marie, Heather found me in the group and saved me for real. <laughs> Y'all are so amazing. We try. And look at me now I'm making dragons and stuff. <laughs> Lisa, what does that weigh when it's finished? Um, it actually doesn't weigh that much. It doesn't weigh as much as you would think it would. Um, because you don't put a ton of epoxy on it. And I have so Micah or <laughs> Micah. Amanda and Jeremiah, um, they got some air dry clay. 
and they brought me some and I've been thinking about um, trying that on one because turn it, turn it around real quick because it's very light Kirsten asked Sequoia, I don't think I followed you from anywhere, but I'm sure glad I landed here. I was losing my shit with other groups, so I was upset. I was up for adoption. Christine, I would be so scared of doing all that work and to start running. That would be my luck. Mm, no, you just gotta be careful with Madison's it. Madison's like, it's four pounds. I don't think it's four pounds. No, she's just being funny. Sequoia has to be registered as a deadly weapon. Yes. <laughs> That's the truth. Uh, Summer said that blue eye pops awesome with that color. Yeah, the other one's gonna be a blue dragon with a red eye. And he's gonna have some pigments on him, kind of like this too. I do have mirror pigments. I want to make a silver mirror dragon. There him is. I think the lines, the quirky lines that I did, looks like mm. texture. So yeah. That looks really good. Dustin. And this is the one we just glittered this evening. So that's going to be the start of the gingerbread house. I'll show you guys my idea for the claw. So I'll show you guys the claws. Now this mold is a mold that Amanda and Jeremiah sent me um, for my dragons. Honey said how much do you think a cup like this would be? A dragon cup? Mm -hmm. um, I charge 80 for my 30 ounce and I charge 60 for my 20 ounce ones. So this is my green one. Um, I took off some of the scales that was on there in random places because I don't like them. Um, but I was thinking of putting these, um, fingers on him. Now, I would have to bake these, of course, because this is baked clay. Um, But I'd have to bake them on a 20 ounce skinny. And then. Summer said same thing. I thought do it on the back. Yeah, on the back of him. I didn't know if that would look weird with claws on the back. Mm -mm. Because it's, it's supposed to be the whole fact that it's like he's wrapped his hand around the back. Like that? Mm hmm. And then I would paint his claws. Mm hmm. In the same color as I have the rest of the cup. I think maybe from the bottom. Anna, joining late. I was so confused you were calling it a dragon because I saw it looked like a big sunflower from the side. But either way, dragon or sunflower, it's very pretty. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I think I may do the claws, and then again, I may not. I don't know. I'm so indecisive really with pretty. my dragons. Yeah, I like him. His name is Pascal. Pascal from Tangled. And he's not really that heavy. And he's already had a coat of epoxy on him. He just needs like one more coat of epoxy. Let's see how much he weighs. Thirteen point eight ounces. Let's see how much this one weighs without epoxy. This one's a little bit heavier. One point one. And you do super, super thin coats of epoxy, so it's not like epoxy is going to add a lot of weight to it. Um, but it will add some. So yeah, I'm all done for tonight. I like my power wash ones. I think they look pretty freaking amazing. I really, really like this one. I'll probably do a bigger one. I was thinking of doing a um, unicorn on there. Sequoia said place the claws like a gripper for the cup. That's true. That would be pretty cool. So yeah, I'm all done. Hope you guys enjoyed the cups that we made. And thank you for coming back after we switched to my phone so that you guys could see how I did that. It's super easy, but it's a very pretty technique. It reminds me of like lace, like white lace. 
um, or like someone else said, like the um, white foam from on the beach, from the ocean. Super, super cool. Um, and I'm sure my wheels will be turning on that <laughs> for that, uh, for a beach cut with that. Mm -hmm. Do it across the bottom. But yeah, I hope you guys had a great time, and I will see you guys Friday night. Bye. Bye.